So, ladies and gentlemen, if we're going to go ahead and add and subtract um, our radicals, we talked about our radicals have to have be exactly the same, right? You can only add the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3. True? Yeah. You can't do square root of 3 plus square root of 2. So we look at these values, and are our radicals the same? Are they the same? No. But you're not going to say like a factoring problem. No, Chase, we don't need to pass the buck, OK? We don't need to say, oh, OK, it's prime. It's done. We can't do anything. Because is there something else we can do? What have we learned the last couple of days? We've learned how to simplify these, right? Yes? Yes. We have learned how to simplify these. Okay. So that's what we're going to want to do is see how far we can simplify them. Now, if you're still a little rough on simplifying, you can do them to the side if you like. However, for this point, I am going to um, leave them kind of uh, up there, and we can simplify it. So if I was going to take 9, and what I would do is say, all right, how can I simplify the square root of 12? Remember, we talked about we want to simplify it in terms of square numbers. 12 can be rewritten as the square root of 4 times 3, then plus square root of 32. What's, what is the largest square number that we can divide into square root of 32? So this becomes square root of 16 times 2. And then what about 72? You could do 8 and 9, but what is the, think if there is there a larger square number. 9, so we have 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. 9 and 8 would work, but then you just have to simplify it again. OK, so does everybody see what I did? Notice this is 9 times 12, right? Or no, sorry, 9 times the square root of 12. So when I simplify this, I get 9. The square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 3, right? Notice how it's still 9. Then I add that to um, what is the square root of 16? 4 square root of 2. And then minus the square root of 36 is 6 square root of 2. Okay. Now the reason why I kept these parentheses out here, because ladies and gentlemen, 9 times 2 is what? 18. So really, this is 18 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 2. Now we look at this and we say, all right, what are the two numbers? What are the, two, what are the only radicals I can combine? The ones that have the square root of? 2. two. And then you just remember, it's just like x's. 4x minus 6x. So 4 square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 2 is negative square root of 2. I just did 4 square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 2. Because they both have the same square root of 2, just like they're both x's. So you know? if it was 18 square root of 2, then we would combine everything to one term. Yes. Make sense? Yes. Kind of? A little bit? OK, not so bad.